The high starting number of Scotland's Steve Hislop belies his abundance of TT talent. The flying haggis is out for his first TT win. A third of the way around the circuit and it's Johnson leading on the roads for Loctite Yamaha at the 11th milestone. Jeffrey's trying desperately to cling to his tail. Sometimes the action's all too much for some spectators, they just can't stand the pace. Two flying Scotsmen, Steve Hislop and 22 Ian Duffus together on the roads. Three in full flight at Balacry, but Hislop is the man who's really on the charge. By the time the leaders get to Guthrie's on lap one, the wind is proving a huge problem and it's a struggle to hang on to those 750cc muscle bikes. Morrison, at 33rd, is on his way to a lap of 112, but Hislop has hit the front and leads by 1.2 seconds. Bray Hill, lap two, and Johnson is in third spot on the Loctite Yamaha. The wind is still causing big problems. But not, it seems, for Hislop. He's already ahead of number 18 Steve Ward on the roads after two record-breaking laps. Morrison grabbed the lead on lap two. But by May Hill, a lap later, Hislop has roared back to the front. Guthrie's memorial on lap three. Dunlop in fourth. Jeffrey sixth and Morrison second. There's just 11 seconds between the two marauding Scots as they begin the fourth and final lap. Whitton fifth for Suzuki with Morrison hard on his heels at Bray Hill. Hislop's new lap record stands at 112.68 miles an hour from a standing start. Meanwhile at Handley's, Hislop is maintaining his lead. Hislop on the Honda at the hairpin. His lead's been cut to four seconds. Jeff Johnson looks like he'll have to settle for third on the Loctite bike. He's being chased by Dunlop and Jeffries, who head for the line with Morrison in hot pursuit. Now Morrison has to wait for Hislop to finish before he knows the outcome. Dave Leach in eighth, and Wilson heading for seventh, despite his hairy moment. Hislop crosses the line, the production B-class winner. In the end, the winning margin was 12 seconds because Morrison ran out of fuel on the run home. It's a great day for the Metzler men, who make first and second from a disappointed Johnson.